Today's video is going to be all about the pickups that I have in this instrument that I'm holding right now. This is a 1975 Fender Jazz Bass that uh, I put in the hum canceling Nordstrand J pickup. So it's like a vintage correct uh, split coil pickup within the casing of a single coil Jazz Bass pickup. The result is that it cancels out all the hum. Anybody that has a passive Jazz Bass, a traditional passive Jazz Bass with stock pickups, we'll know that when you roll it to the back pickup, typically you get a lot of hum. And these completely make that go away. It's absolutely dead quiet on both single pickup um, positions. So you get what it says on the label and it's perfect. still very much the classic traditional vintage Fender jazz bass sound. <laughs> Throaty, um, sassy, articulate, a little bit uh, of bite and grind. Passive pickups have a very large dynamic range so um, they can, you can play really softly. And, um, everything from a very soft kind of even like, you know, like gentle brush strokes. fingerboard on it with the um, pearl block inlays and the you know the cream binding uh, original black paint job I changed the pick guard to this kind of cool laser girl pick guard ray gun girl pick guard so that was just the back pickup now let's hear it with or that was that was both so let's hear it with just the back got that uh, back pickup traditional jazz bass vintage tone <laughs>
I have the tone all the way up. Let's turn the tone down to 20%. You know, there's a lot of mysteries. There's a lot of magic in the front pickup of a Fender Jazz Bass or any Jazz Bass, you know. Um, I think that we kind of get addicted to the back pickup where we can. And um, the back pickup has its, has its certainly amazing um, things that it brings to the table. But just this front pickup and going and using the, the range of the tone control. two volumes is always really cool that's one of the other really great things about a jazz bass is that just taking them from both being on full blast and taking like um right here's full blast both pickups <laughs> just going from the front pickup and I'm taking it off full blast and putting it to 80% back pickup still on full blast. focused and excellent jazz bass sound front pickup on full blast back pickup on 80 percent tone on half see what i'm saying just that last 20 percent on each volume control makes a huge difference now the thing same thing in reverse back pickup 100 percent you hear where it changes right where it changes is, is, the, is, the, is that range right there you know are so fun in so many ways another thing i did and this is i put on a um hip shot a style bridge really nice bridge kind of a high mass with it's their top of the line one of their top of the line bridges got the kind of a high mass design with the um side walls that come around the saddle so you don't get any up and down slop you can play real hard <laughs> Uh, it kills the low mids a little bit, takes away a little bit of that low mid, but it um, it kind of it creates a little bit more dense sound and a little bit more st stability in the way that the um, the way that the instrument kind of um, feels and the tension and everything, at least for me. So that's why I like high mass bridges on some of my basses, and I like the old school bent metal ones on other ones. But uh, one thing that I found is that uh, taking and just using um, like not both pickups at the same time, you know, half of one and 
and all of the other ones. It, you still get that true Fender sound with all those great low mids. And especially when you use only one pickup by itself. Front pickup tone at about four, four, uh, thirty percent. jazz bass slap sound. are not in the identical place you know you gotta get used to that particular instrument it only takes about 10 minutes and i can start plucking and yanking them harmonics out of there but uh yeah you know going back to the beginning and the point of this whole video these pickups are fantastic and they're completely noiseless i'm going to crank up the volume and show you that i'm switching right so no cheating right That's just the sound, that's not noise. Right? That's just the front pickup. This is just the back pickup. So, yeah, no noise. So, yeah. As promised, they're noiseless and that's the that's a that's a factor that really really matters to me. I don't know if it matters to you as much, but it does to me because I cannot stand any noise in my signal path. It drives me bananas. Um, some players are kind of like, yeah, you know, they like that or whatever for some reason. I I, I don't know, but I, I kind of get it. Um, I know that, you know, sometimes when it's mixed into the musical fabric, some might think that it creates part of the texture, um, but I can live without it and I choose to. So I encourage you to take uh, a look at these and um, and get some for your jazz bass, regardless of what brand of jazz bass it is, whether it's a, a new one, an old one, a Squire, any number of, um, you know, replicas, you know, um, relics, copies, old Japan copies, anything that you have that has two jazz bass pickups in it, get these pickups. You're going to love them. They sound fantastic. And I think that they sound great. No preamp needed just is as a vintage kind of um, traditional Fender jazz bass sound, but without all the noise. All right, friends, have a great day. Peace.